What's up, guys? It's Cade. So we did it. We set up a camera for the uh, for the voiceover videos, and uh, uh, everybody on the stream was saying uh, they wanted a camera, especially for reactions and all that. So I know it's off to the side, but I'm right up against the wall, so I can't put it here. And if I put it on the left side, which would still be off to the side, but then it faces the window and everything, it's all blown out and all that. But hopefully this is uh, it's a little better setup for everybody that... Uh, uh, kind of wanted to see a camera. We obviously have them set up on the live streams, the webcam and stuff, but um, this should add a little bit of something to the um, to the regular videos. Uh, now, I wanted to put something out today because we've had a lot of uh, people who are jumping into uh, the chat on the live streams and talking about their alliance and how they're having issues or they need to find a better alliance, or what have you. And um, this tool, this spreadsheet is something I created way, way back in the day when I was with um, the first, my first like Map3 Alliance, my first legit alliance. Um, used it all the way through becoming an officer and a leader for the scrolls, helped a ton with our Map6 push, and it really helps anyone in an officer role or a leader role keep a bird's eye view on the um, alliance itself and track super, super accurately. Now, I haven't seen a ton of tools like this on Reddit. Maybe I just haven't scoured the um, the Reddit, uh, the, the Contest of Champions subreddit, but um, either way, this is one that helped me out, so I thought I'd, I'd uh, post it so you guys have it too. Now, the link is going to be in the description. Um, click on that link. It'll take you right to the Make a Copy page. Hit that blue button for Make a Copy, and you'll have your own copy to do with as you please. Now, let's jump into the sheet itself. Um, Basically, the way it's broken down is by battle group. So, battle group one, two, and three, uh, the sets of columns. And then you've got uh, a waitlist column for uh, in case you're recruiting or your recruiting officers using it. Um, you can uh, kind of keep track of the people that have contacted you and uh, which order they contacted you in, all that stuff. I also used to uh, have a column for for Slack. This is when we were migrating everybody into Slack with basic check marks, like check mark or an X, uh, for who was in Slack, who had gotten in, who hadn't yet. But that was just a, a couple day process. Anyway, it helped. Feel free to do that in this uh, this column right here to the left of the battle groups. You can just add check marks or um, X's or whatever's easiest for you if you're doing some sort of migration to cl what it, Clan HQ maybe uh, to Slack. Um, it's just, that's what we did with it. Um, but basically, it's broken down by battle group. You've got battle group one, two, and three, like I said. And um, the first column is your officers and members. So you're going to have to want, well, you're going to want to change the uh, the names of the members and the officers to kind of match your, uh, your alliance. The second column is missing dispersion. Oh, I don't know if I said this, but uh, you're going to have to, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. So if there's sniffles or a little bit of stuffiness, that's why. Um... Anyway, uh, Mystic Dispersion still helps. Uh, it helped a lot more in the old war system, but if you've got defenders that are, you know, equivalent rank and you're trying to decide who to put on a mini, obviously um, your Mystic Dispersion numbers are going to help. Um, then you've got the infractions. So donation infractions, AQ and AW infractions, and event participation. AQ and AW would be like, you know, if someone just didn't contact or didn't get in touch and was gone for hours and hours in AQ, that would be an infraction. The red infractions, generally, I saved for somebody who didn't place defenders or you couldn't get a hold of them to place defenders or something bigger like that. Um, maybe somebody who didn't... Uh, I don't know, maybe somebody who prevented you from getting a map 5 crystal, crystal or a map 6 crystal who, who uh, couldn't complete or however you want to use that. I, I used to keep those in red. Anybody that was systematically a bad communicator, I used to mark their name in red. Um, it's, uh, and I, I, got, I get a little bit anal about the color, so I used to use certain colors for um, uh, like certain reds and all that kind of stuff because it can get messy super, super quick. Um, this definitely helps if you keep it organized to uh, to be able to, to see everything the other thing I used to do and you can do this if you want you don't have to if you don't want to but um, I used to set the background colors of the names and it says here under colors background colors of the name cells indicate skill level from low red to high green the blues are AW boss killers you can do blue if you want to but uh, at least green yellow and red based on skill level and that really gives you an idea of how balanced the groups are, uh, if you need to rebalance the, the battle groups or what have you. 
uh, that used to help a lot. You don't have to do that, but uh, but it helped. So obviously officers are bold, members are not. Uh, if I'm repeating myself, it's just because <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be a long video. Sorry, I'm uh, this stuffy nose thing is making my eyes water. So um, the BGs, MD, and infractions. Um, obviously, if you have multiple infractions, you just separate them with a comma. Uh, I do have a placeholder cell, uh, so right here you've got your like. A, you know one of each kind of date you don't have to put commas in between them if you don't want to uh, like in the placeholder cell um, but you've got your regular ones red ones and uh, another one of the regular ones the way we used to do it is we used to do a three strike system that rolls over every two months so if two months have gone by you can delete that infraction because things happen right I mean I remember even uh, I remember missing a completion event myself because I totally totally spaced it and didn't hit that last run um, and I had an infraction things happen it's not a big deal but uh, we found that three infractions within a three month period is pretty good um, obviously you want to talk to your members and tell them hey these are the rules and uh, also we, we only re uh, required completion for ours we didn't like the rewards for duels and stuff like that but um, and even though we hit all of the events pretty much, except for duels, we, we just really didn't care about duels. We used them for uh, people actually dueling targets that they struggled with instead of the random target that, that week, because you miss out on like five points. But um, but the uh, obviously we, we used to hit most of the events, but make sure the, the expectations are clear. And when somebody gets an infraction, make sure you get in touch with them and say, hey, you got an infraction for this. These are the things we track, just as a reminder. Um, no big deal. You know, you get three and they roll over. But uh, just keep them in the loop because the, the worst thing is not not communicating with people. And they get kicked and they don't know why or it's, you know, it's a surprise to them. You don't want to do that. Uh, it can lead to all sorts of uh, stuff. Them posting on your recruiting, um, your LFG posts, stuff like that. It's just not, not a good... Um, not a good setup so you want to treat everybody um, with respect and make sure they're aware of the tracking system you're using um, uh, names I already covered that so if their names are in red that's because they're uh, systematically bad communicators so that's an extra thing to keep in mind uh, when you're looking at the sheet um, and again I, I put it here in like placeholder cells for pace, uh, pacing infraction dates and red is a no join or a failure to place in aw so those are the more serious uh, more serious offenses and that's about it really i mean you just fill in the missing dispersion numbers change your uh you know the officers and the uh the member names to, to match your alliance i like to keep the officers at the top you certainly don't have to do that uh, i just put three of each on here you may have fewer officers you may have more um but uh this is kind of the, the the basic thing. Now, like I said, if you make want to make your own copy, just click on the link in the description. Uh, it'll take you right to the make copy page and make a copy. Um, I think a tool like this is super, super helpful. You can just pass this on to your leader or whoever the tracking officer is, uh, whatever you want to do. But uh, either way, super important, even if you're at the lower levels to see, because most of the time, and you'll find this, most of the problems come from a very small percentage of the players and as you start bringing in more and more quality players your time as an officer just frees up right people are self-managing which they should be the more serious the alliance gets the more self-managing serious people you get and this is a really good way to track all that who has been contributing who hasn't been contributing and make the changes you uh you feel like you need to make so in the interest of keeping this video kind of somewhat kind of short i know i i tend to uh to just drag these drag these on so uh in the interest of keeping it short um that's kind of it um if you have questions obviously post them in the comments below um also on twitter it's at k1321 1321 it's just like the uh, just like my ign um definitely um Ask me there. I mean, that it's a it's a really good way. I try to keep an eye on all the the Twitter um, the Twitter stuff. It's a really good way to, for me to keep in touch with you guys and for you guys to keep in touch with me, rather than going back through all the videos and answering every comment. Usually, I'm answering the first few as I can, and then uh, um, you know, kind of seeing things on Twitter as they come in. Um, Aside from that, uh, if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this or found it useful. And uh, I hope to 
see you on one of the live streams. We live stream every single day at uh, noon Eastern. So I hope to see you there. We have a, a really good time. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.